Hello, welcome to our event. And today we're going to talk about ateliers. Why they are an essential part of learning how to paint, but they're not your final destination as a painter. When I was getting my degree in fine art in painting, the teachers that were teaching me themselves were taught by the abstract expressionist generation. So as far as composition, these guys were amazing. Some theory as well, but it was mostly on the design element of painting. But I always found myself going to the Met and looking at the master paintings there and just thinking like, how do they do that? It looks like magic. Even though I was in school, I had no idea how this was done. So at the time, I was thinking that they had special mediums, special pigments, special brushes, special, special old master secrets that died along with them that us as contemporary painters, we just didn't have access to anymore. But then figurative art became popular again. And I saw artists like Kehinde Wiley, like Will Cotton. And I understood that yes, we can still do this technique now. We can still make realistic figurative work that looks like the old masters, but it's new. So I did some research on these artists and I found that almost all of them had studied at an atelier. So after school, I decided to go to an atelier. Most of these schools focus very heavily on drawing, on they want to teach their students how to see because in order to paint something realistic, you first have to understand what you are looking at. They teach you drawing, how to draw from life. You spend hours at these schools. And they also teach you color harmony. Color, palette, how to set up a palette, how to keep it neat, how to mix, how to limit your color palette. And my teacher had an emphasis on natural colors because the old masters used natural pigments. So basically any kind of ochre, any kind of earth color is what you use. So I studied at this atelier for five days a week for eight hours a day. And at some point, after four years, I was proficient. But at the same time, I always knew that this was just a school. This was just a technique. And I remember asking my teacher at the time, I was so excited. Okay, I know how to do this. What now? What do you think about contemporary painting? What, what is art now? What is figurative art? I was so excited as a student. And the professor said, to paint is to set up your still life, to pose your model to mix your colors and just to see, just to paint. Whatever is happening now, don't worry about that. Contemporary art, no such thing, it doesn't exist. This is true painting. And I left that same day and I never went back. Because here's what's wrong with this thinking. If you go to any of those ateliers, if you go to any of their shows, you will see beautiful paintings like so lifelike, they look alive. But they also look like they're from the 19th century. Because of course, we all love the old masters. They are our heritage as painters. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. But at the same time, they were living in 15th, 17th, 18th, 19th century. They were innovators of their own time. And you can learn their techniques but you don't have to make brown paintings for the rest of your life. Because after I left the atelier, I have a closet full of beautiful paintings, but they all look the same. It's beauty, tradition, but no substance. It's skilled work, but it's not exciting work. Because the artists that I'm looking at are painting about current events. They're using contemporary pigments, and they're using technology. Just because we are painters, and our job is, in a way, romanticized. Old materials, old paintings, old frame of mind. We're not living in the 19th century. We're past that. Your responsibility as a contemporary painter is to learn from that time, but make innovations. Add to that lineage of historical painting. With contemporary, with present day stuff. 